presence. Amen. This morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's so good to be. Amen. In the house of God this morning. Amen. 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 I I feel like the Lord has placed something upon my heart today. And uh, I, I don't never want it to be about Johnny. Amen. Uh, I don't want my agenda or what I'd like for my agenda to be to ever take place of what God wants. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what? Because Johnny can destroy. Johnny can kill. Uh -huh. But I'm thankful, amen, that if God's in it, amen, he brings life. Amen. He gives life. But I am, I am, uh, I, I wrestled with this and uh, I fought up on it quite some time. Amen. But I, I would like to, and, and I will say this, I will try to be short and sweet this morning, all right? If you have your Bibles, but would like to turn with me to Psalms chapter 11. And I've got a couple things that if I can pull up, I, I don't know that I can, but I'm gonna, I may try to pull them up. If I can, I, I'd like to share. And some of you probably have already seen them, especially if you're on, on Facebook. Amen. But the things that is going on in our world, Amen. It, it's it, it it shakes me in my in my shoes. Yes, sir. And if it don't, it, it needs to be. It needs to be. And I I I I pray, Lord, help us. Help 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 our country. Help our uh, the United States. Amen. Uh, we've got so far from 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 the foundation. Amen. Of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter eleven. In verse 3, it says, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Uh -huh. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? That's the short part. Amen. Now the sweet part comes. Now I ain't going to say how long the sweet's going to be. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Lord, we're thankful. Amen. For your word. I'm, I'm thankful, Lord, for that which is sure, that which is steadfast. Lord, it's an anchor for our soul. God, that we can latch, we can latch, Lord, unto God, and, and, and you can hold us safe and secure, Lord, in, in the storms uh, of life that is going on all around us, Lord. And I pray, God, that you'd help us, Lord, this morning. God, I pray that you would quicken my mind, Lord, that you would uh, allow your anointing, Lord, to touch, Lord, and let me speak that, Lord, that you would have us to hear today. We'll give you the praise and the glory for it in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Today, as I, uh, God, begin to deal with my heart uh, about some things, uh, I, uh, I, I begin to uh, begin to meditate and begin to look into His Word, and uh, uh, I, will, I will tell you something. Amen. The things that's going on in the world scares me. Amen. That's right. Amen. I, I don't know uh, what is what is taking place. Amen. In in, in the hearts, what I do, uh, the the enemy. Uh, it is out. He's out to destroy, and he's working. He's working overtime. That's right. That's right he knows and we can go back up to verse one here in Psalms chapter eleven. It says, "In the Lord put I my trust." That's that's where uh, when when the earth is shaking around about us, we got to remember when things are falling down around about us. We got to remember. We've got to keep our trust in God. That's right. Amen. 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 Because the things of this world will ultimately fail. That's right. Amen. One of these days, the Bible tells us that it's going to melt with fervent heat. Yeah. That's right. Then, then where are we going to be standing? I will tell you something. 
if we're standing with him, amen, everything will be all right. Amen. Hallelujah. My trust is in him this morning. Amen. It says, uh, how say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string that they might uh, privately shoot at the upright in heart. And then verse 3, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I'm going to tell you, amen, it's time for the righteous to stand on their feet. Yes, sir. Right. And proclaim that God is still God. Amen. <laughs> Control of everything. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. He, he sets uh, kings up and he takes kings down. That's right. Amen. I'm here to tell you, amen. He, he'll allow until that time that whenever he says it's enough, amen, the devil and his angels are going to be destroyed. Amen. 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 But my trust is in God this morning. Amen. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The stock market may, may fall, uh, it may fail. The money, our money, our monetary, amen, money system, it may give away. But you know what? Amen. My trust is still in God. Amen. amen. If he took care of the children of Israel for 40 years wandering in the, in the wilderness, I'm here to tell you, amen, God can take care of me and you. Amen. amen. Today, my friend. Hallelujah. The Lord is in his holy temple. He's still there. The Lord's throne is in heaven. Amen. Amen. Don't look down, but look up, because that's where your help cometh from. Amen. Amen. His eyes behold, and his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord uh, tries the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. But the wicked he shall rain snares and far and springstone and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous, for the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. Right. Amen. His countenance doth behold the upright. I'm here to tell you, when you walk upright before God, when you separate yourselves from the world and the things of the world, Amen. The Bible says that he loveth righteousness and his countenance. I'm going to tell you something. I believe his countenance, whenever he looks down, amen, and he sees me walking right, and he sees you walking right in his presence, his countenance, amen, lights up. Amen. And he's looking down and he says, yes, son. Yes, daughter. Amen. amen. You keep going in the direction you're going. Yes. Amen. It makes you proud. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I, uh, I thought of, of a, a kind of a little story that I heard, and I don't know, I might have shared it here. Sometimes I, I share different things, but I'm going to share it again this morning. Amen. Because it has a lot of meaning to it. Uh, there was a, 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 a big contractor that owned a, a big uh, construction business, and, and he, he, he built many houses, and some of them was... Uh, was fabulous. They was they was what I call this uh, fancy, and uh, he always he had a good reputation of all being the best builder in the area. And, and people they they always when they got ready to build they'd always go to him to get get him to build uh, their house. Right. And uh, as the story goes, he decided to take a vacation. And he was going to be gone for uh, uh, some length of time. And, and he had a, a man that had been with him from the very uh, get-go. And uh, this man had been, he'd been faithful, always on time, always willing to work, and always done a good job, done what he asked him to do. And he told, he had a house built, and he told this man, he said, he said, uh, he said, Here, here's what I got for you to do while I'm gone. And so he left. And, and this man, his right-hand man that had been so faithfully, been with him for so many years, he began to build his house. Yep. But in the midst of building this house, he began to cut corners. Yep. I can save here. I can, I can leave 
out some two by fours here, and I can save here, and I can cover this up, and and, and uh, oh, uh, uh, you know, and I, I can I can I can cut corners and and uh, and, uh, uh, and and it'll be all right once it's all covered, when it's all said and done. Well, when the main man come back, he looked at the house and it looked good. Because he couldn't see what had been left out. He couldn't see the corners that had been uh, cut short. Right. He, he couldn't see this. So he, he reached, uh, or the, he, he got the keys, and, and he looked, when he got through looking to the house, he walked up to this man that had supposedly been faithful, and he handed him the keys, and he said, Here, it's your house.
flesh. Right. Amen. That's right. It says here, this talks about, uh, Brother John Robinson said, Disney is once again showing its true agenda. Absurd. I, I, I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to mention it here a little bit about Hollywood. Yeah. Amen. We, we, our churches, amen, have got to the place that we want to pattern after Hollywood with the light shows. Oh, amen. Yeah. We've lost, we oh, lost yeah. the power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. We've replaced it, amen, with the side shows and the entertainment. Hey, I'm here. Amen. I'm not here to entertain this morning. Amen. But I am here, amen, to warn you, amen, that we need to separate ourselves from those things. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Disney, this was put, posted by Sherry Graham Couples. And it, it says, this, Disney has totally lost it. I think Walt, this, Walt Disney would be so disappointed in what they have become. And it shows, it says, a little demon. It's got a picture of a little girl that looks like fire in her hand. And, and I may not be able to announce, pronounce all these words, but it says, little demon explores what happens when Satan's daughter. Why are we even entertaining the thoughts of Satan? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Why are we even, you know, we're little children and, and, and it's supposed to go and have a good time. Why are we even entertaining the thoughts of Satan? It says, explores what happened when Satan's daughter uh, Chrissy, uh, I guess, which is played by Lucy DeVio, Hollywood. Mm -hmm. The Antichrist. I'm, I'm here to tell you anything, amen, that is against Christ is Antichrist. That's right. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. His uh, publicly, publicly, I, I may not understand that right, but pronounce that right. But her mother, Laurel which is played by Aubrey Plaza, just wants the pair to live everyday life in Delaware. That's what the devil wants you to do today, just live everyday life. Yeah, just yeah. just do your own thing. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just do your own thing. Right. Amen. It goes back to, uh, and, and I'm going to read some scriptures here a little bit. Amen. Iniquity, do your own thing. Unrighteousness. Yeah. Right. Uh, Brother Grace mentioned that here Wednesday night, I believe. Amen. But just wants the pair to live uh, every everyday life in Delaware. But Satan, uh, I guess, which is played by Danny uh, DVO or Vito, whatever, wants his daughter's soul. Wants his daughter's soul. Church, where in the world has our world or our country went to? To go to such depths, amen, amen, as, as, as something like this, amen. Let, let, me, let me pull something else up right quick, amen. Hallelujah. I'm thankful. I'm still thankful for a good life, amen. a good, clean life, amen. amen. I don't want to mess with evil spirits, amen. 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 In fact, the business, amen, I, I want to cast evil spirits away from me, amen. 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 Uh, here, here's a note. If I can pull it up. Amen. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for God's help this morning. It's a little slow. Give me, give me a little bit of time. But in, in, in uh, St. Matthew chapter 7, in verse 13, Lord, I know you're able. Let this, let this come up. Amen. I want, I want to read it. Verse 13, it says, Enter ye in at the straight gate. No. I'm going to tell you. Holiness, amen, a separation from the world, amen. You may, you may say, well, that's, that's, just, that's not necessary. You don't have to do that. I'm, I'm going to tell you something, amen. If the light, amen, of Jesus Christ is shining in me, amen, when I'm out in the world, amen, it will shine out there too. Amen. Not just in church only, but in the world also. Amen. Hallelujah. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way uh, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. 
You know what? I, I don't. I've had people all oh, you want them holier than thou. Hey, in my actions, I I, I, I try to be friendly to, with everyone. I try I try to be friendly. I try to be uh, you you know that light that shines. I I, I want them to see Jesus in me. And, and I, I I've had people say, "Oh, you want them holier than thou?" No, uh, I don't I don't I don't want to impart that. That that feeling or that I don't want to be I'm better than thou or I'm better than you know. Yeah. Amen. I'm gonna tell you something. I was lost and undone without Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I was on my way to the devil's hell. Yeah. But like I said a while ago, at a young age, Sister Lisa, he began to speak to my heart. Yeah. Amen. I, 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 he, he, he let he let conviction come. Amen. To, to let me know that hey, I was living right. Amen. He began to deal with my heart. I just sure that my whole heart felt like it was going to just pump out of my chest. I just, uh, when, he, uh, when, go when the Holy Ghost would get moving, His Spirit would get moving. And uh, I never will forget. I never will forget. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I, when I got up and made my way down to an old fashioned altar of prayer, and I said, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all those things that I've done that's not been pleasing unto you. <laughs> I want you to forgive me. Man. You know what? Woo, you talk about a load that lifted off my shoulders. Come on. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Hey Amen. I, I, I quit doing the things that I once done. Hey Amen. I, I, I turned away from them. And I began to walk, hey Amen, as, as he would have me to walk. Man. Hallelujah. Amen. And I've not been ashamed of it. Amen. I've, I've not been ashamed of it one, one, one time. Amen. Hallelujah. It's, I'm still working on it. Amen. But the Bible says that many there be which go in thereat. Uh huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Be careful that you don't get, amen. You're standing on the sidelines. You know, I, I've seen people. Lord, help me this morning. I've seen people. Amen. Uh, uh, middle agers that had children, and and and, and, and they and they, Amen. That they, they was church, coming to church. They was bringing their children to church. Right. But the, the devil began to implant in their minds and their hearts of, of those things that they wanted to do when, when they was young and when they was uh, wasn't living for God. Uh, you know, and then they began to let their children do those things. That's a step away from mom and dad. Uh-huh. I'm here to tell you. Amen. I walked in this morning. I seen Brother Avery kneeling down back there at that pew praying. I said, thank God. Amen. Brother Avery, keep it up, son. Amen. The world is out there to destroy you. Amen. But as long as you stay on your knees, amen, God will keep his hand around you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It may not be going to let me. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm just going to confess to you all this morning. We, Sister Guthrie and I, we, uh, we worked on the road and uh, uh, there for a while. And uh, in the summertime, we'd go up in Michigan and we'd work. And, and we'd go to church while we was up there. But it was just, we'd go to a campground and and, and it was just work come there and, and I, I got a TV yeah. I, I thought you know I, I thought well surely we can find something on there that's wholesome that I mean we can watch and, and we did we watched Wheel of Fortune and uh, Jeopardy right. and, and uh, a, a few things now I, I'm not I'm not here condemning nobody this morning I'm just I'm telling you about Brother Johnny this morning Amen. And, and you know we come in, we eat, and we sit there, and, and we watch a couple shows, maybe watch a, a western, you know, uh, uh, the Inspiration Channel or whichever one that's got the the westerns on it that bleeps out the word. Yeah. But in your mind, you still know what that word was. Uh huh. Your mind still says it. Uh huh. It's still there. But anyway, come back home and we kept it. Cause we had a we had a uh, plan with a dish and uh, uh, 
And of course, I like the, I like the news. I kind of like keep up with what's kind of going on around the world and stuff. But I, I've got other means of doing that. But anyway, it wasn't long till on Wheel of Fortune, we begin to have same sex yeah. Yeah. people. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A man come on and, and, and my wife, Billy Joe, <laughs> or a woman come on and, and uh, my, my husband, Nancy. Yeah. And, I, and, and the Lord began to deal with my heart. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. He began to deal with my heart. Hey, I've got that mess in my home. Yeah. Even though it's coming over uh, 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 airwaves or coming over a, a channel or whatever, I've got that mess in my home. Right. Hey, I'm here to tell you, amen, the Bible declares, it plainly says that it's wrong. That's right. It's wrong. It's abomination. Right. And then I'm going to turn around and bring it into my home. And supposedly, I'm a child of God. No. You know what? You have to be careful where thoughts right. starts. Right. Beginning. Adultery. Shows on there that, that uh, you know, the old time preachers used to preach against the, uh, uh, was it as a world term? What, what was it? Soap operas. Soap operas. Because uh, so-and-so was cheating on so-and-so and, and, -so and, and, and yeah, and it just carried on and on. Adultery, fornication. That's right. Mm -hmm. The Bible declares unto us that it's wrong. Right. Is it still wrong? Or are we standing on the sidelines, amen, allowing this stuff, amen, to walk by us? Are we going to be swept into that Broadway? Oh. God help us this morning. Amen. Help us this morning. Yes, Lord. Amen. I, I know this ain't popular. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I'm here to tell you, amen, there is still a separation. Yeah. Amen. God still is light. Amen. The world is still darkness. Amen. And either we're going to walk in darkness or we're going to walk in light. Amen. We're either going to love God and hate the world or we're going to hate the world or we're going to love the world and hate God. I'll get it right. Amen. Hang with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I, it may not be going to it's not going to let me pull it up. That's all right. Anyway. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth into life. And few be, few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets. We've had, we've had supposedly men of God. And, and I say, I say that respectfully. But we've had, uh, Supposedly, men of God that has come along. Amen. I'm going to tell you something that used to preach this gospel, but they come along and say, "Nah, you, you don't. You don't, you, you don't. You don't have to do all that stuff anymore." Uh -uh. And young people. Amen. And I know because I've got a granddaughter. Mm -hmm. That's got caught up in this mess. Yeah. Goes to the beach. Half naked, or not all naked. I'm just going to say, I'm going to tell you something. This is plain. It's on there. I'm going to tell you something. They just might as well be walking around in the raw pants. That's right. That's right. Yeah. A bathing suit ain't no difference. That's right. That's right. Mm. Hey, I'm here to tell you, amen. Mm, God help me this morning. Help me this morning. Men. I'm here to tell you this morning. Amen. It's just not the women only. Right. Amen. But man, I'm here to tell you this morning. Amen. We need to be pleasing to God also. Amen. Amen. We need to look like, amen, a Christian ought to look like and dress like a Christian. Amen. 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 We ought to conduct ourselves. Amen. Right around the women folks. Amen. Come on now. Yes. Amen. Brother Grace, uh, hurry up and get back, will you please? <laughs> Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly they are ravening wolves. You know, all they're worried about is patting their pocket. Hey, we'll make it easy. I want the number. Hey, Amen. So you can come, amen, and, 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 and pad my pocket. Right. Amen. And where I can wear thousand dollar pair of shoes and, and, and three or four thousand dollar suits and, and I can wear uh all the gold and glimmer and, and yeah the Rolexes. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Come on. Hey, I'm not but I, I tell you why I'm here this morning.
morning. Hey Amen. I'm concerned about your soul. Amen. I'm concerned about who you're going to spend eternity. Hey Amen. If I was standing here in rags this morning, Sister Martha, hey Amen. What matters most, hey Amen, is the soul of man. Amen. Hey Amen. Don't be standing on the on the sidelines and get caught up in the broad way that leadeth to destruction. The Bible says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are great and fools. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? I've got an old thorn tree back there behind my house, and I, and I, I bring that thing twice to kill it. Because I was, wanting, I was wanting it to die down to where I could get it cut down and, and carried up. It's got big old long thorns on it. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to go back there and find something good. Yeah. No. I ain't going to find a good, a good fruit on there. Uh -huh. But I'm going to find something that'll, that'll stick, that'll, that'll, that'll hurt you, that'll cut poison. Amen. And, and you burn for hours from that old thorn. That's right. Uh -huh. right. Hmm? Amen. Yeah. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. You know what? That's not only, amen, talking about the false prophets, but that's talking about you and me, my friend. Right. Amen. What kind of fruits are we producing? Amen. Are, are we producing that, that which is platable or eatable, amen, for the world? Say, hey, there's something about there's something about him. There's something about her. Hey, are you a Christian? I walked in the bank over in Perry County when I first moved down here. Didn't know nobody. Brother Billy Henson. He said, he said, I'm gonna talk to him. I was, I was needing to make a loan. And uh he, he, I said, I said, Brother Henson, I don't know nobody. He said, go to the bank of Perry County. He said, I've done talk to the man up there. He said, I'll take care of you. I went up there and uh uh, unless Brother Hanson told him, I don't know, but no, I know he may have told the man, but the, the woman that done that finished the paperwork and handed me the money, she said, said, You're a preacher, ain't you? How did she know? I mean, I didn't I didn't walk in and say, Hey, Jesus loves you. Hey, I'm a Christian. No. There was something about me, I'm not bragging on myself, but there was something about me that she recognized yeah. that there was a difference. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. So whatever. Let's bear good fruits. Uh, the Bible says, Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a crooked tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a crooked tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Or heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, uh, ye that work and iniquity. iniquity. That's right. Unrighteousness. Oh God, help us today. Help us today. Church, can we climb higher? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we climb higher? Can we reach higher yes. to higher heights? Yes. Hallelujah. Not that we want to be better than anybody else. Yes. No, but that we can be a light to this world and this in this dark and evil world that we Amen. live in. Amen. God help us. Amen. In closing, in verse 24, I'm going to go back to the to the builder. The Bible, Jesus says here, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. I'm going to tell you something. Christ Jesus is that rock. Amen. If you will totally commit yourself unto Him, He'll do a complete work in your heart and life. Yes. That when this when this race is over, 
Amen. He'll hand you the keys and he'll say, Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> it's yours. Amen. You've got a mansion. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. I'm going to tell you something. I want, I want to get away. I want to get away from the sideline as far as I can, Sister Sherry. Because it's so easy. I don't know if you've ever been around something uh, and a wind draft come through and just suck, just suck something into that wind draft. Uh -huh. And just it'll just suck it out and, and, and go on with it. That's right. Yeah. If we ain't careful, if we get mess around with sin and the things of sin. That's what will happen. It will just suck us right on into the Broadway. And we'll, we'll go on and not realizing it, it, uh, it hardly that we ever lost out with God. And Jesus, I, I, believe, I believe there was two individuals here. There was a wise man and there was a foolish man. And both of them had come in contact with him. Uh -huh. They had come in contact with him because he likened one, amen, as being wise that obeyed, amen, his commandments. But then he likened the other one as a foolish man because he done his own thing. Uh -huh. uh, he said, uh, And everyone that hears these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended. It's going to come. The closer you stay to God, the better you're going to withstand the storm. But when you start getting away from God, oh God, when the storms of life come, when the temptations begin to pull, I'm going to tell you something. We're all human and, and we're tempted. Don't, do, not, do not be deceived. Amen. We're tempted. We're tried. Amen. But are we able to withstand? The Bible says, and the rains descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And it fell. As they come to the music this morning, and great was the fall of it. Uh -huh. Two destinations. Heaven or hell. Two ways. Narrow or broad. Two masters. Christ or Satan. And two walks. The spirit of the flesh. The spirit or the flesh. There's no halfway point in between. In, in closing, Ephesians chapter 2, it says, Now therefore we are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with, with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundations of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Oh, let me, let, let, I, I know something else. I was, I was talking about Hollywood and, and, and the, the movies and stuff. But what about music? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. What about music? You know what? When I first went to work for Bryce down here, they had 104 country on. And I'm going to tell you something. And, and, and I, I, if, if I'm in somebody else's vehicle, I don't mess with their, I don't mess with their stuff. I just I endure it until I get out and I go on. Yeah. But anyway, that's what most of the radios was on 104 Country. And, uh, uh, and, and, and the country they have now, whew, oh, it ain't even nothing like it was back in our days. I mean, back, back, in, back, in, uh, back in our days, we had just a swing. Huh? Just a swing, yeah. 
And they, that was when we, me and my wife was going together. We didn't. I mean, we we heard it, but that was kind of our thing because we'd get down on her 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 parents' porch swing and we'd swing and we'd talk yeah. and uh, we 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 just a swing, yeah. just a swing. But I want to tell you something. It's got any more. You you can't even a commercial anymore. Don't have nothing but custom. Somebody on there uh, on there other day was advertising soybeans and, and showed a picture and it had a cuss word in it. Yeah. And I put, why why do you have to have a cuss word in an advertisement for soybeans? Right. <laughs> but that's our world that we live in. Right. But our songs, the the music of the day. Oh, I'm telling you, folks, you better be careful. Right. You better be careful. Hey man, this this cheating and all this mess and and and, uh, and, and I ain't even gonna get on the rap, huh? Because I'm gonna tell you something. It ain't nothing but filth. Whatever other word is cuss words and, and uh, you you name it, do it and all that. I, I'm here to tell you, right. man. Church, we better wake up. But it says we are built up on the foundation. Uh huh. My scripture text, which was short, said if the foundation be destroyed, what kind of what can the righteous do? But we are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ Himself being the chief cornerstone, and whom all the building fitly framed together groweth into a holy temple. Into the Lord. Know ye not that your bodies are a temple Amen. of God? Amen. We belong to Him. Uh, well, what about our little by words that we use? Come on now. Come on. We're going to give an account for every idle word that we speak. I, I, I hope I'm talking to some hearts in here this morning. I don't want anybody to be lost. No. He says, unto an holy temple and to the Lord, we want to be pleasing unto Him. And I, I know we're not, we're, we're not, we don't walk to be pleasing to each other. Amen. But we walk to be pleasing unto God. That's right. He says, in whom ye also are built together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. Amen. A habitation of God. Can I ask you? Can I ask us this morning? Can I ask me this morning? <laughs> what about my temple? Is it pleasing enough for God to take up habitation in it as we stand, as we stand this morning, just to share a place, saying whatever you have on your heart there? I'm not trying to be mean this morning. That was not my intent. My intent was to awaken us and to a closer walk with God. Hallelujah. Can we examine ourselves? I'm not, I'm going, I'm not going to ask just as an individual come up, but as a body, as a body of Christ, of, of believers. Why don't we just make our way up around front? Let's examine our hearts. Let's examine our life. Lord, is there anything? Amen. Have you been dealing with thoughts? Have you wrestling with thoughts? <laughs> oh, God. There may be other things that you may be fighting. There may be other things you may be wrestling with. But let me ask you this morning. No, I'm just going to ask for the Johnny. Lord, if there's anything in my heart today that's not right, that's not pleasing unto you, God, even though I try my best, Lord, I know there's always room for improvement. I can climb, climb higher, Lord, with you. Lord, and
Don't be swept into the broad way that leads to destruction. Thank you, Lord. that my mother had failed and needed help, and my mother was sitting beside me. So I went and called the woman, and she lives across the street from the lady who fell in the yard, and she was trying to call the woman's daughter for help. I don't believe in, what is that? Coincidence. Coincidence. I don't. The woman's name is Carly, and I'd like for us to pray for her soul. Okay. Whatever's going on, she, she's needing help, and that she got that help. The next call I received was from my brother in Ohio, and Susan, Sister Melody's stepmother, just prayed through the Holy Ghost. We did a prayer for that. Amen. And the Lord would give her understanding about it. Amen. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, we that's got it. Amen. <laughs> We're going to get it to them. Amen. But sometimes it just takes the Lord. Sometimes people's not, uh, you know, they're not, they, they don't know. They ain't been around this, you know, like some of us have. Amen. It is, you know, and, and, and you know, they want to make sure. But I'm sure if she experienced, amen, with the evidence of speaking another tongue. Amen. She knows, she knows about it now. Hallelujah. Brothers on cloud nine. Yes. Amen. 
Yeah, yeah. Awesome. that's good. That's good. Yes, that's good. It's good that they was there. Yes, Amen. Let's remember, is there any other announcements? Uh, uh, we're we're going to pray for this need. No, uh, that was it. Just prayer in the morning. Okay. Uh, is you service this coming Wednesday? No. No. It's the next one. The next one. Okay. Okay. So we don't have no special services or anything. Okay. All right. Let's remember, uh, Brother Bodie and Sister Katie Tubbs will be here. You'll be blessed by their singing and, and ministry tonight. Uh, I was hoping, I, I started once to tell him to preach the message of uh, your fat cow. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things I hear. And, and a lot of things I forget, but I never will forget that message that Brother Bobby preached. Remember your fat cow. Amen. It was awesome. I'm going to tell you, it was awesome. Amen. Sister Miranda? I do want to testify. A lot of y'all not know Mom, Brother Steve, Brother Bobby, I don't want to Friday was my last day at my job. I was working at the Walmart and I Yesterday, I said here, and I got a financial blessing. I may have to wait a week or two to get it, but God stepped in and took the burden off of me that I was worried about what's going to come when I need it. And I want to thank God for that. Yes, yes. Sister Miranda. Amen. 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 I, I, will commend, I will say this. I commend Sister Miranda for her faithfulness. Amen.